Hello, Lulas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Guys, I am just here for a quick update. I just want to update you guys and let you guys know. Um, of course, um, there was a few days where I was like not making videos. I had actually been sick and I, so I wasn't really, um, making videos. I did make a few, but I didn't like upload them and I was trying to upload them here recently, but I know some of you guys are probably like, this seems old, the, you know, people that follow me cause like Phoenix got sold, Marley got sold, um, London got sold, like stuff like that. And so, um, I think in the videos I was kind of like, it sounded like I was getting ready for them to go, but they're already been gone. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm, I have, I think two more of those videos and I may go ahead and still upload those at some point, you know, just because I did take time to record them. Um, one of them, I think my voice was kind of really raspy on there. Um, so basically I had like a cold or something for like maybe I'm gonna say like where I really felt like it was a cold was like three days because sometimes I don't know like if it's sinus or allergies and I still kind of don't know I think I don't know but um it didn't last as long but there was like a few days that I felt really really horrible so I of course did go get tested and it did come out negative um so <clears throat> but it like I said it didn't last as long so as you guys can see I have my big girl here and I'm really excited about her I just been like trying to spend some time with her before I actually share her share her um so I've been irritating you guys with her um so she is the Mealy Scope by Ping Lao um just to give you guys a, a quick little story about her um, number one, um, I don't know how she may be 32 inches. I don't know. I can't remember what the height is supposed to be of this, this kit, but originally I painted her and she's been painted for a very long time, but she's just now getting hair. Um, she had to wait for a turn to go get rooted and then she had to wait till she get rooted. So, um, she's been painted for a few months now. Um, number one, it was my first time attempting uh, German vinyl, um, but I completed, I think, Jude by Ogar first, that's German vinyl. Um, so she's number two to be completed in German vinyl, but her vinyl was very different. Jude vinyl is very neutral, looks almost like the... The same color as what we're used to with painting the kits. This kit is so pinky. In fact, I have I have a vinyl that I can show. I may show that at a later date. Um, but the vinyl is just, it was just so ugh, yucky color, right? Um, so I did finally paint, get, um, get the kit painted. And then I found out that one of the arms was wrong. So, um, this arm, so this arm was, this is the, they're, they're correct now, but they had sent the wrong arm and, um, I had painted it and I don't really normally match my colors. Um, so in fact, this arm, they're like, they match. She does have a little bit of different detail a little bit right there but like it's not any like they 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 match I'll show that later but um I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to match them so I was like she just might have one short arm <laughs> and I was looking at another prototype artist or I don't know if she a prototype artist but she does a lot of the toddlers and stuff and I noticed um at one point in her kit um, had the wrong arms too, but, well, somebody pointed it out to me, but it looked like she might've corrected them, um, in a picture. I'm not sure, but it looked like she, it might've, but I don't know. So anyway, 
So that was the other challenge. So, you know, it was first the German vinyl, then the color of the vinyl, then the fact that she ended up having the wrong arm, then she had to wait for hair. It's a lot. But the kit itself, like I've told y'all a million times, remind me of my children, like probably the closest I've seen so far um, out of the sculpts. And so I was I was definitely really excited. So I, I painted her the skin tone of my um, human kids, um, mainly my second daughter um, skin tone, but, um, so I'm very, very connected to her. I've been toting her around everywhere and like putting her in different rooms. Of course, she's had a few outfit changes just so I could kind of get an idea. I've changed her hair around to see what kind of style I like best in her hair. I've just been really like enjoying her privately for a little bit. Um, but I have to say, um, although I don't like painting German vinyl as much as the standard vinyl, I am getting used to it. And I will say that um, when it paints, it paints up nicely. But the Ping Lao kits are so freaking amazing with the movement and the limits of the posing and stuff. I just, I love that. I love that she can just do so much Um even without an armature, like, because they're on the connectors, like, their head tilts in ways that, you know, normally with Reborn, you can't, you don't have all that, and it stays, and I don't know, it's just amazing, and then, of course, they got the little, you know, oh, you can't see, but she has the, the little chest area, and the back, so if the back is out a little bit, um, you can see that as well, it's just, you know, it, it's, they just really, are very very lifelike um and even with holding her like literally the ping lao kit well this one i'm i haven't tried any other ones but i'm definitely curious now but i actually feel like holding her like like you normally wouldn't hold your toddlers as much but this one you will like i don't know it's just like she's she's a cuddle bug but she's a big girl so if that makes sense. So I've been calling her Lulu, but her name is not going to be Lulu. That's just a nickname. It was just something that, um, as I was painting her, me and a friend was just, um, joking around and she started calling her Lulu. And then I started calling her Lulu. And so I've just been referring to her as Lulu ever since, but she does have a totally different name. And I will tell you guys what that is as well. So I'm excited, but I also wanted to mention to you guys, I know this is the end of the year. We're getting ready for the holidays and a lot is going on. Um, me personally, I probably like taking the rest of the year off to kind of paint some of my personal babies and private babies for myself. Um, I will have a kit here and there, you know, available most likely as a ball baby because my rooter is also taking breaks from doing like custom order rooting until like um probably next year so i'm really just you know going to be taking the time to paint i have a lot of kits guys so this is what i wanted to talk to you guys about i have a lot of kits here and it's a lot of money tied up in all these kits here um and so i wanted to possibly start painting some of them and just selling them as ball babies i know a lot of people prefer especially ethnic babies to have hair and stuff but i know sometimes it's easier for collectors to get people to root for them than actual other artists other artists don't like to root for other artists sometimes just like they don't like to paint for other artists and stuff so um i i can't demand my rooters time like solely and completely so um i'm gonna say if you are maybe wanting to get one of my babies um at a lesser cost um i will probably next year start doing that um like january hopefully and um I don't know. I haven't decided on how I'm going to do it. If they're going to have a little bit of... I think I'm going to do a little bit of a discount on them. 
maybe not too too much but a little bit less just because I just want to just roll them out um just and I'm not gonna like I don't want to rush paint them I just want to get them sold so that I can make room for new stock I got it I can't even buy any more kids at this point right now my nursery I can't even do a nursery tour because I have boxes of kits like I have a freaking warehouse like it's ridiculous um I I know I know this sound might sound crazy but I have this thing where I love to support um the artists the real sculptors out here and so a lot of times sometimes I even buy kits that maybe not my favorite kit but I just want to show support to the sculptors and I I will buy the kits and stuff um but normally I only buy one some that pique my interest or I just at least want to paint um but I do have a lot I have a lot of kids <laughs> so no major sold out kits here I have like maybe two that's very old old one I've been waiting like a lifetime to be good enough to paint and the vinyl is kind of the color of what her vinyl was so now I think I may be able to tackle that but yeah so I'm I'm so that's that um guys I I just I gotta get caught up so like I said I know the holiday is coming up and a lot of people are starting to you know start buying for Christmas and you know stuff like that and getting prepared prepared for you know Thanksgiving and Halloween or whatever getting their families together and all that jazz um but yeah so she also has a, a decent sized foot too which is nice see she has it i like that she has a nice size feet she has nice size feet they're not too big and they're not too small say see my piggies <laughs> but um i'm gonna put her shoes back on i like to use those shoes on her and and i don't know they might actually be boy sandals but they're so cute with this little outfit um she's gonna get some photos taken in this outfit today my um the one daughter that she looks the most like which is my second daughter her um she i think she's the only one of my kids that don't have my actual eye shape which kind of give her almost like a like a more asian look or something i don't know how to explain it but um so i was about to say lulu <laughs> um so she has a uh so she 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 just reminds me of her. And I I when she came back, her head came back from being rooted, I got so emotional. Like when I first saw her pictures after she was rooted, I was so emotional. And then I got when I got her head back, like normally I'll open the head up in the car. Like I'll like not wait till I get home. But I wanted to wait. And when I, you know, I opened it up and I just I was so so like stirred up and emotional. So I look at her and it's just, I don't know, it just, it evokes these emotions that I didn't know I had, if that makes sense. So I don't know, it just makes me think back to when my kids, were, my older kids were this age. And you know, you take those moments for granted. We think we're enjoying them and you know, but it feels like you kind of take them for granted because once they get older, you can't get those times back. And I mean, they go through so many phases and, you know, looks and just everything. And it's, it's just, it's, 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 it's amazing to be able to find these sculpts that kind of match up. And I see people doing it all the time with their babies and stuff. So the Willow by Claire Teller and the Mealy by Ping Lao is two of the kits that I feel like match up to my kids features probably the most um so far 
There was another kit by, um, what is that? Oh my gosh, I can't think of it right now. Ah, uh, it's an older sculptor. Uh, gosh, I cannot think of it right now. It's like on the tip of my tongue. But there was a baby that they did that looked like um, my son when he was a baby. And I always said I was going to get that kit, and I never did. So, anyway, um, I will be back, and we'll see you guys later. Um, so, probably the next time you see this little girl, you guys will meet her for the first time and see her little face. And, yeah, um, I do have some, some photos of her and Joey together as well. Um, but that'll come in a later date. I want her to have her moment and then we'll, we'll, we'll get them together. But, um, okay. She got her little bracelet on. It says made with love. And I think she'll keep that bracelet on. So when their arms move because they have the connectors. It does make a little bit of noise, but not. Not like the uh, armatures. Look at this. Like her, she has like such good length. I just love that. And it's so, guess I didn't put your shoe on good enough. Okay. Anyway, let me go. All right. Look at you. See, that's why you need to keep your shoe on.